Well, they say in life, you don't get what you deserve, you get what you negotiate. And Philip Danielson of The Bold Negotiator is here to talk about how the art of negotiation can save us money and help us get more opportunities. Mr. Danielson, welcome. Thank you for having me. So you've got three quick tips for us this afternoon. What's number one? Sure, and I want to focus especially on people's lives being disrupted with what's going on right now. So the first one would be, the tip number one would be, understand the brutality of your reality. You can't sugarcoat what your situation is. So do an in-depth analysis of where you are, not where you think you are, or more importantly, where you want to be. So the first step is, uh, you know, know the reality of your br brutality of your reality. And then I guess from there you have to ask for what you want because a lot of us just never take that step. That's true. That's true. You do have to ask. You need to plan also, but you have to make the ask. And sometimes that we have to deal with fear. Sometimes we're very fearful, so we don't make the ask. And generally the fear is absolutely unfounded. So if you can get beyond uh, that fear, make the ask. And I guess it's always a good idea to have an, an alternative plan, maybe a plan B if your plan A doesn't go as you want it to? Absolutely. So you have to know where you want to go. If you know where you want to go and you plan for it and you know that things are not going to go exactly the way you plan and you make the ask, it's substantially more likely you're going to get what you, what you want. And um, I've heard that in, in one good strategy is to, uh, to make your negotiation into a story, a personal experience. How can that help? So we think through stories. We don't think like a computer, step A, step B. We, we associate bits of pieces of information and we tie it together. If you can do that with a story, it's much more compelling. So don't, if you have a spreadsheet, tell the story of the spreadsheet. Don't just show the numbers. Now, what are some practical applications where we can apply this to our daily lives? Well, let's see. Everywhere from business applications, of course, to getting your kids to finish up their homework before the end of the year because you don't have teachers helping you. Philip, how do we get a hold of you? How do we find out more information about the art of negotiation? Just go to theboldnegotiator.com. I'll be happy to help. All right. Philip Danielson with The Bold Negotiator, thank you for being with us on this Friday afternoon. Thank you. All right. We'll be right back.